By the time I was 18 years old, I was in and out of jail and using drugs. I became an IV heroin user. I just was drinking all day long, pretty much even before people would get up, like good 3, 4 a.m. in the morning, all the way through the nighttime. Alcohol was really the ugliest part of my life, you know, it just ruined my life dramatically. I was homeless out in San Francisco. Um, shooting crystal meth and heroin every day. Uh, I backslid, so I relapsed. The choice of drug was heroin, so I went right back to what I knew was comfortable for me. I went to court and my, my first hearing, the judge just looked at me and told me that he was done. He's given me three different chances. I have an extensive criminal record and I'm a drug addict and there's pretty much no hope for me. Basically, kind of really in a way, not wanting to come here because I didn't know what, what this was all about. In my in my experience, I think it was more of a God ordained time for me to be here because this is where I really truly found my spirituality and, and who He is and what He's doing in my life. Um, you know, when I first came into the New Life Dream Center, uh, I literally the enemy was at work so great. Um, and I knew from that moment that I was exactly where I was supposed to be. My name is Steve Cook. I'm kind of uh, the organizer of the, um, the area. The whole reason the Dream Center was founded was because there is a world full of people that the whole world has given up on. My favorite part about being here is um, being able to teach the Word and the importance of getting the Word in you every single day. There is so much love in this program, and this program is a family. Like from the moment you walk in this door, you are family. So when I got here, I, it was just like a, a automatically the, a, a family already just waiting for me. You know, it, it was just a great feeling. So the so the pastors and um, the the staff, the women, and the, the everyone that's part of NLDC just there was just so much love and. Um, connection that you don't normally get even when you're going to church. The idea is that there's not a focus on the addiction or getting rid of the addiction, but rather getting them so filled with the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, getting to see the lives that were once given up on and getting to see the transformation that God does. Um, and you, you, it becomes really apparent that you have nothing to do with it. Um, God uses you, but it's all God. I believe if every single program was ran like MLDC is ran, the success rate would be through the roof. It, this, this place, like I said, is just an anointing place. Jesus is the center of it. The best way a church could partner with us is, I believe, if they're around the area in Canada, to come and see what we're doing. Let us come, show you around, sit through some of our um, classes. Let us introduce you to the men and the women that are in the program. I was able to remember what it was like to have that relationship that I had with God. It's changed from me saying I won't go to a Christian program, to me saying I'm going to stay here for a second year, to me saying I don't care what I do anymore as long as I'm walking His way. I definitely feel called to ministry and, and discipleship of men to give radically. Of course the New Life Dream Center is in need of financial resources. Obviously, the number one way is financial support. We don't charge anything for this program. It's completely free. We don't have money. You know, we're dealing with a lot of people who um, can't hold a job and living with family members or people that are just homeless, flat out there homeless. If you invest in people, you'll, you're, you're, your return will never come back void. Without God using NLDC, I will be dead. I would be at some California state prison. The judge told me that Wednesday, I remember, Smith, this is your third chance, we're done with you, we're sending you to state prison. Yeah, without God using the NLDC, I, I would probably 
be either in jail or dead. Without New Life Dream Center being in my life today, I would be lost. Well, there's never a lack of people. There's always a lack of ability to reach them. The answer to every problem is Jesus. The dream is contagious. When you get to be a part of that, it's hard not to want to do more.